Our top story tonight, lock your doors, looters are on the loose. Colony police say that burglars have hit four homes so far in this spree. They also say in some cases it was while the homeowners were still sleeping inside. Police say that the thieves have been hitting up side streets off of Old Niskeena Road in Loudonville. They say there have been three incidents this week, also another home hit last month. Our Brandon Lewis is there with the more tonight on how it happened and also how you can protect yourself. Brandon? Well, Dory, police think these burglars or burglar are breaking in through unlocked doors and windows. Two of the burglaries happened here along Old Niskayuna Road. There was another one that happened just on the other side of that tree line. That's uh, Locust Lane. That's where one happened. And the last one was about a mile or so up Old Niskayuna Road on Hills Road. Police say in each of these cases, these guys are getting away with tens of thousands of dollars in stolen goods and cash. We were here. We were asleep upstairs. It was frightening. Kathy Clementi knows all too well the feeling of having a stranger enter your home. Someone came through our garage window, uh, broke the window, went into my car, took my car keys, and uh, opened the kitchen door, came in and took all my electronics. Eight years later, she never thinks about security the same way. We just got smart and started uh, setting our alarm, and you know, we have security cameras outdoors and uh, lots of motion detectors, and uh, we're just more cautious. And that's what police say more Loudonville residents need to do with a burglar targeting homes along Old Niskayuna Road and Osborne. It's easy to say that uh, we're in the, the tens of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry that were taken from a couple of the burglaries. Uh, some of these are, are very affluent homes. They did have a, a wide variety of uh, expensive jewelry, so it's easily in the tens of thousands of dollars of jewelry. So far, police don't have a usable description of the suspect. They've only found one set of footprints, but they could have a getaway driver. In the meantime, they're urging residents to take simple precautions, something Clementi already does daily. You have the advantage of having an alarm use it. It takes two seconds to set. It takes two seconds to unset. Um, and it just gives you that added peace of mind and security. Now, the suspects in her case were never caught, but they did find one of her designer handbags in a nearby street. Police say, as always, give them a call if you see anything suspicious or out of the ordinary. They'll come out and check it out. Reporting live in Loudonville, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News. Brandon, I believe you mentioned cash. What other kinds of items are these thieves in particular going after? Well, the jewelry, high-end jewelry is certainly something they're looking at. Uh, they are notifying nearby pawn shops and anyone else who may deal with used jewelry to be on alert for any stolen items. And, of course, uh, they are asking them to give them a call if you know, they see anything suspicious or anyone carrying around a large amount of cash that may be unusual for them. Yeah, good to get the word out and uh, let these folks be on alert again in Loudonville. Thank you very much. Brandon Lewis reporting live tonight.